Welcome back. We'll be talking about the Mark Smith TI again today. However, we'll be talking about it as a pen. Uh, currently sold out at the time, for but for about $12 and 30 seconds of your time, you can convert the Mark Smith TI from a permanent marker into a regular ballpoint pen or any other inserts for that matter, it seems. Uh, it comes with a Parker G2 insert, um, and I'll have a link in the description below directly to that product. And for about the same cost, you could even get five different highlighter color refills. So I'm guessing those are also probably just about 30 seconds to change too. Um, so all that being said, I did want to correct something. Uh, in the previous one, previous video I made, I mentioned that I wasn't sure if the refills were uh, OE Sharpie or not and confirmed they are. Um, and thank you again uh, to Soul uh, Build K KVR VR, uh, whatever names, Engineerable, whatever names, wh whomever's behind this, thank you all because this is a pretty cool piece of machinery and it keeps getting cooler the more I play with it. Um, and to know that it's a Pilot G2, or I'm sorry, Parker G2, and that it's also proper Sharpies for the highlighters and all the permanent marker inserts, it's really cool to know that. So I uh, just wanted to clarify that. Um, all right, let's get back to it. Um, so one of my biggest gripes that I had with the uh, uh, Marksmith TI when it was a permanent marker is they had to build in some tolerance so that the felt tip retracted all the way and never dried up well not never dried up but was less prone to drying up um, and I have to say that when you have the uh, pen insert into the Mark Smith TI that tolerance is gone that rattle's gone so that makes it quite a bit better to me um, there is this new little tip that comes out from the pen insert but it's definitely not a big deal and it pretty much looks OEM um, so I would say that uh, if you're someone who has ham hands like me and relative comparison point for you here if you have ham hands like me um, the mark smith ti might make for a better bolt action pen design than say the tactile turn and or the big idea design um so i'd highly recommend checking it out if you haven't already uh fidget factor is definitely high on it and so it's it's just a it's a larger pen i haven't tried writing with it for a long time periods like half an hour or anything but for quick jotting down it's very nice and it, it fits that much better in my hand than some of the smaller thinner options um and the the retraction on it definitely gives you a very solid feel the action on it's quite nice um so that's about it the 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 rattle and the new insert uh, the little tip from the new insert those are the only two major changes i could see from swapping it out it also only took about 30 seconds so it's very nominal and if you have uh, some extra space in your backpack you could easily carry some extra inserts with you if you wanted to switch it up from say permanent marker to highlighter depending on what you were doing um i am going to try and save some money yeah right in the weeks to come so that i can get a tactile turn and a uh, big idea design uh, uh bolt action pen i've got one from right in the rain my friend gave to me which is pretty awesome thank you again um and so i'll, I'll try and see if i can't do a battle a little showdown of all those uh, uh compared to one another and <clears throat> they're all relative same price point at about a hundred dollars unless you get the nitride ones then it goes up to like three hundred dollars um and i know big idea design's got a shorty version that's only 75 dollars if i remember correctly but i'll try and get them all that are in the same price point just to make uh, things as even as possible um that being said i did just order a micro jimbo to review so yeah, we'll see. Uh, let's check out my Patreon. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to see any other pens in that battle, though, just let me know in the comments below. And otherwise, carry on.